Recently, I came across a video, and I'll try to link it in the description if I can find it. But there's this viral video of this little girl who uh, says that her Barbie told her a hundred times over to paint her with nail polish. And so I was like, you go, little girl. We should do that. So here I have a bootleg Barbie. I decided that it would be better to use a bootleg than a legitimate Barbie. So here I have a bunch of nail polish that we're going to be painting this doll with today. Nail polish will stain dolls, so don't go into this lightly. It, don't paint your favorite doll with nail polish. Be very careful. Now you could choose to paint your Barbie doll's hair as well. However, I've decided that I don't want to do that. And I've decided that I don't want to use this torso either. Because I'm crafting debris and I like weird things, I decided to make my personal victim a little weirder. And so I'm going to go with this. This is a different bootleg torso. And then this is a rainbow dash head that I pulled out of a thrift bin. And I've been dying to use this head for a very long time and I could never figure out what to do with it. So I feel like this is going to work. So first things first, I did a thick base coat of green and yellow to try and get the doll all one color. For the base colors, I decided to go with bright colors and I kind of wanted them to clash because I felt like that's what a kid would do. So I went with bright yellow, green, red, and some pink. By the end of it all, I felt like I had made something like a Dr. Seuss character or at least that's what I was getting out of it. I decided that I wanted the face to be more featureless, so I used my Dremel to get it off. I simply filled the face in with some more yellow, and then I started adding glitter. I felt like if I was a kid and I was using nail polish to paint my Barbies, I would definitely use a lot of glitter. So I used some green glitter, and I literally covered the entire doll in it, except for the face. I know this part wound up kind of looking like a crazy mess and I'm okay with that because I feel like that's what I would do or what a kid would do. They sort of wouldn't make it all seamless. They would add a bunch of crazy colors and glitter so that's what I did. I then used a different slightly darker green to accent the feet, hands, and ears. I don't know why, but I pretty much immediately decided that she needed a big pink heart in the middle of her chest, so that's what I decided to do. Then I moved on to the face, and I had no idea what the heck I wanted to do for the face. I decided that I wanted to do something different, so I wound up making it quite wide set, and it's it just came out weird, but I like it. I had no idea what kind of colors I wanted to use or anything like that. This wasn't planned at all. I just did it. And this is what I got. Just like how a kid would do it when you think about it. I did decide to cheat a little bit on the eyes. I felt like she needed some eyeliner and some better eye definition. And I didn't think I could get that kind of precision that I needed with the nail polish. So I did go in with just a little bit of acrylic black and white paint. These are all of the nail polishes that I wound up using. So the next step for this little girl is clothes. So I pulled this out of a thrift bin on a bootleg. And so I thought, how perfect would this be for a skirt? So I'm going to hand sew a little tunnel, a little seam like that. I'm going to hand sew that. Another reason why I picked out this fabric is I thought it clashed really terribly with the body. And I figured that's what a kid would pick out. So that's what I went with. I don't know why, but quite often when it comes to kids' toys, I'll notice they use way too many colors for things that don't really need that many colors. And... That's just a common theme that I find in toys, is way too many colors that don't go very well. So once your skirt is successfully bunchy, you want to use just a little bit of elastic and feed it through the little tunnel that you made, so that way you can tie it in the back and you'll be able to take it off and on as you please. I just gave her this monster high top. I figured the clashing colors were very kid-like. 
So I just went with these plain black shoes that I got off of eBay for her. I didn't want them to be really brightly colored because I felt like that would be way too much color for me. As you might be able to tell, I went a little crazy and overboard with this design, but I feel like she's been successfully kidified. Now, the nail polish may bleed over time, and it may also crack over time. This is just simply how she's set for now, and I did have her sit overnight before recording these final scenes. The clashiness was sort of my me channeling my inner child, so feel free to get as crazy crazy with this or as not crazy with this as you want to. I would highly recommend only doing this on either bootleg parts or very cheap parts. Just anything that you're okay with ruining permanently is what I would go with. And I decided to name her Ace Tone after acetone, which is my favorite way to remove nail polish, which I would actually never use on her because I would be so afraid of it melting through the bootleg parts. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, or whatever.